that's very important because um, you know if doctors have a lot of knowledge about normal bowel patterns then they could uh, reassure mostly mothers that if a child doesn't defecate every day it has nothing to do with constipation and that's the perception of of families because uh, if if your child infrequently has heart stroke and immediately they tell well it's uh, we we think it's constipation but we know for from studies from all over the world that the defecation frequency in children from the age of three years of age is exactly the same as in adults which means that the children defecate once every three weeks to three times per day so it means that if you have every other day a, a bowel movement that's that's fine uh, and that's not what we call constipation uh, if you look if you really look at the criteria we use today then one criterion of constipation is not enough so you need to have either uh, infrequent bowel together with uh, hard stools or fecal incontinence together with withholding behavior but you need two symptoms to make the diagnosis of functional constipation but you will see that if a child defecates only once per week that he or she has three or four symptoms of constipation. I think it's more difficult to um, see all these symptoms in very young infants because uh, you know a child, an infant who has hard stools and cries a lot during defecation uh, that's different from a child who is three years old and have the, 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 the symptoms we we see daily uh, of constipation like fecal incontinence which is a a uh, very important symptom and that's it's more difficult to find in infants but you know even in infants they defecate once every three days and have hard stools and then it's easy to fulfill the criteria for constipation there is of course a difference between those children who are not toilet trained and those who are toilet trained and in the children from the age of two uh, constipation is a very easy diagnosis to make you don't need any lab tests you don't need anything like uh, x-rays it's the, the, the criteria together with physical examination and it's easy to, to make the diagnosis.